Well, talking again about what happened in that Astro World concert, as concert goers were struggling to survive, two fans tried desperately to get someone to stop the show. ABC 13 reporter Jeff Ealing has the exclusive interview with one of those fans who is now be called, being called a hero, Jeff. Yeah, Melanie, you've probably seen the, this social media video of Aiden Cruz right down here in the circle and another concert going concert goer trying to get the attention of a camera operator. You know, the problem was they they weren't able to get that camera operator to pay attention enough to try to stop the concert. Ultimately, this effort was in vain. The show continued while fans were suffering under the weight of that surging crowd. Instantly, I just feel like this is like this is no this is not going to be good. We have to get out of here. Aiden Cruz and his girlfriend stayed near the back of the general admission section of the Astroworld concert on purpose. He tells us he knew from previous Travis Scott concerts that the fans in the front can get a little rowdy. But Friday night, Cruz learned that even the back of the crowd wasn't safe as fans rushed into their section. I start to push back, and as soon as it feels like a brick wall, I start screaming help. Like I, I'm yelling, I'm yelling to anyone I can see, like help, like let's move, like let's push back. Like I, I see my girlfriend, she's she's starting to get pushed under people's arms, and then it, it just becomes survival mode. Cruz says he watched helplessly as his girlfriend and his other companions fell victim to the crowd. After the people had fallen down, the crowd moves, and I fall down on top of them, like back on top of their bodies, and I could hear the people in agony. Cruz was near Brianna Rodriguez, one of the eight who died during the concert, and he heard Brianna's cries for help. And as I was falling down, I see Brianna, um, and, and Xavier, who was holding her from Heights High School, from high school yeah, uh, fall on their backs, and people falling on top of us, falling on my legs, falling on my stomach, falling on my face. I could, I could hear her saying I can't breathe, I can't breathe. And I just remember just having so much weight on my body. Cruz and another concert goer named Sienna managed to get to a camera location and they tried to tell the camera operator to get someone to stop the show. As they asked for the show to come to an end, other concert goers were yelling insults at Cruz and Sienna, apparently unaware of the human suffering taking place just a few feet away. And I'm not saying that he had authority over these people because he didn't, he didn't, he doesn't have the mic. And he doesn't deserve, I've, I've heard people giving him threats, and, all, and he doesn't deserve that. Now, Cruz has been called a hero for helping the victims try to get the show stopped, but he doesn't think of himself as a hero. He says that there were plenty of people out there, dozens in fact, who did help those in need. And Aiden says that those people are the true heroes from that night. He says it is a night that he will never, ever forget, Melanie. Boy, Jeff, such a chilling and emotional interview with him there. Unbelievable. Does he talk about uh, how he's feeling now? Is it keeping him up nights? I've got to imagine this just has affected him so much. You know, Mel, during the interview, he stopped saying several times to just try to collect himself as he was reliving the story and talking about what had happened and trying to get, you know, the events in, in the right order. It, yes, it is absolutely having an impact on himself and his family as well. Uh, well, our heart just goes out to him, and he is a hero. He did try to do something. He certainly did. Thank you so much.